Hello everyone and welcome back to Dishonored. This is episode three. Last time we were checking out the Hound Pits and we got to know some of our allies, which was a really fun time. Had a bit of sleepy time, met the outsider, got given a beating mechanical heart, acquired the blink power, read a bunch of lore, uh, and I really cemented myself in the world there last episode. It was it was super fun. Uh, we got uh, so much more of an exposure to what this kind of experience is going to be, and that's very exciting. So episode three, we are heading to the distillery district because we have been given a mission to assassinate somebody. I oversee a Campbell, leads the city's militant religious faction and is a close ally of the Lord Regent. So we're going to take him out. We're going to steal his journal and eliminate him. Uh, we've been given a little optional objective to spare uh, someone within the, the ranks here as they're trying to do good from within. So we're going to keep note of that. Let's continue where we left off. Jump right in. Be a rough trip. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes, like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. All right, mission clues updated. Get past the first wall of light. So, the City Watch holds Clavering Boulevard beyond the first wall of light. The Bottle Street Gang controls the side streets, and Granny Rags lives in an apartment at the far end of Endoria Street. We read about both of them last time. So, eliminate High Overseer Campbell. And then use the Bottle Street Alleys to get around the Walls of Light. Locate Emily. Take the Blackmail Journal from High Overseer Campbell. And uh, the optional objectives is Granny Rags. All right, we'll do that. And then also sparing Captain Kerno. In short, uh, Captain Kerno survives his visit to the office of the High Overseer. We'll talk to Granny Rags, I reckon. You weren't uh, cooking that for yourself, were you, Sam? You don't mind if I have that for my mission? Too late now, I've already eaten it. If you decide to go up clavering, don't let the guards spot you. Okay. I'm wondering if uh, we have to choose between Bottle Street and um, Granny Rags. Because... This eliminate option includes this, but this is just straight up an optional objective. So I think we're going to try and do granny rags wherever that is. Under the cover of darkness. But easy, damn it. Keep them in the boat. Arthur's note. Dearest Gwen, the city is going to burn. I've sold everything, so there's nothing for me here now except you. I'll wait for you where Clavering Boulevard crumbles into the river where we used to meet. We'll take the money I've made and bribe our way onto a passing whale ship. We won't leave without you. If you won't come, I'd rather be rat food. Love, Arthur. Okay. Hey, what is it? I think that last one was moving. What? Yeah, the little one. Not possible. I inspected them myself. Keep working. That searchlight might be a problem. Ain't no more. <laughs> now, something I'm curious about. Will using the heart on enemies give us information? Pain in his head drives him to do unspeakable things. <laughs> okay, so it does. The pain in his head. Drives him to do unspeakable things. The doom of Pandesia has come to the city. One, two, three, heat! 
the river rushed in the barrier broke. A whole district went dark. dark. Is it okay for like normal people to see us? We assume so. Sorry, I can't help you. I don't know this area well. But the common woman. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The following businesses have been closed and impounded by the state due to. We're not going to steal from commoners. Barbershop and surgery. The Duke and Dancer Ale House. Merritt's printing firm. Jesus, man. And the Smoke Street Dice Hall. Do you reckon I'm able to... I'm wondering if... Because it looks like we're in some sort of social space, and as long as it's just the light wall, I'm wondering if we're able to actually interact with guards and it won't be an issue. Like these guys. Will they have a problem with us? Maybe I'll do a, just a cheeky save. Just to test it. <laughs> Hello guys, am I allowed to be here? Nope, I'm not. Okay, I'm not meant to be here. Cool. Oh shit, and I'm wanted. Corvo Itano. I can kind of hide underneath here, but this is with the three of them. I will be glad to rest. Ooh. I love the musical note of almost getting caught. Three, hey. they cut the flesh of the dead and trap the lightning from the sky. I guess I can do this. You cannot see me if I blink. Yeah. One, two, three. Do I go like up and around, maybe? This will be interesting. Keep them coming. Oh, maybe I maybe I grab the heart under the door. I was like, maybe I have to go around. Oh shit! Uh, don't look at me, sir. I'm trying to find out how to. It won't let me. I can't crawl under there, so I'm gonna have to. Um... Why are so cold? Okay, hold on. Yeah, and the sick ones go into cages and off to the flooded district. A couple of them didn't look too sick. Can't take chances. They even look a little green around the gills. It's off they go. Yes, I can go around. Okay. It's just like... There was like a weird invisible wall. Okay. There you go. Nice. And then we do our Assassin's Creed uh, Leap of Faith off into the water. <laughs> cool. Ah, oh, or you could go up this way, I think, maybe, and, like, climb up the chain. Death in the Month of Songs. Excerpt from a longer work translated from Old Sokonan by Anissa Mateo of Sokanos. Sokonos. She was shy in the month of hearths, hiding from my scented letters, a sun-dappled cure for my loneliness. She was smiling in the, no in the month of rain, Eating figs straight from the tree, a dream of sailing around the isles. She was wed in the month of clans to her sailor cousin from Calero, a shrill bird drilling at my chest. She was dying in the month of song, struck by a disease from the east, a terrible kiss on her distant lips. Not the sailor cousin, Darren and Gwen. Rue was like, no, why wasn't she married to me and then died here? Right, we're gonna go down here. Ooh. One, two, three, down we go. Please let me go down. Never mind. I'm trying to go down, but it keeps just taking me back up again. Alright, go down. Oh, why is it inverted? That was, was so that's so weird. I'm like pressing up on the thumbstick to go down. Okay, so we could get here. I'm really going to try uh, and need to look around for uh, like platforms like this, especially taking note of like our ability to blink to and seeing where I can I can travel to. 
So that's, uh, that's, that'll be good to know. I need to make sure I can do this. Oh, my mana is low. Oh, okay. I've used a lot of blinking. I need to be, I need to be careful about that, for sure. I can't just go blinking like crazy. Got to use it sparingly. But we got our bone charm. Good. Keep them coming. Check out this rune. He always eats very well. Even as his wife and child are thin. Oh, okay. You know what? I'll take that from you, you bastard. This character is busy. Sorry, I can't help you. Some folks needed the food I had, and I gave it away. <sighs> sure, you did. Liar. The great ships have stopped bringing their hulls. Oh. Long ago, Granny Rags danced to court. Men begged to marry her. Ah, so this is Granny Rags. I guess this is our optional thing that we can do. Um, okay, so optional. Talk to Granny Rags in her apartment. Let's do that, shall we? Hello? a ruin down here somewhere too. Send us food, not bullets. Is this a trap? And hang on, I've got the ability to see through walls with dark vision. I won't waste my mana, but that would be probably nice to be able to see in the dark. Where's my lantern? I think the little birdies are sad today. Hey, Granny. I told you the knives go on the left. They vote with them on the left. You never listen. In, In her mind's eye, she is fancy trim, trim in velvet, fresh and young, on her way to the evening of her Yes, I would indeed. Dear? Is that you, my dear husband? Uh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them, but what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? Oh, deal with Granny's gentlemen callers, okay. Are they gone yet? Careful. She, she treads, treads with purpose. And is not as frail as she seems. Granny, 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 come out with me instead. Granny, 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 you can't because you're dead. Okay, let's see. Maybe I'll put them to sleep. Let us in, granny. I bet she can't even hear us. She's blind, not deaf. We're here to do your washing. She's not stupid either. Have it your way. We're here to oh. take your money, Granny. <laughs> He's looking in there. We always Wait, looked at each time. other. How much could she have? She digs in trash for a living. Let's get a drink. I'm driving overseas to break. She's been digging for 80 years. Must have found something. Hear that, Granny? 
Whatever you got, Slackjaw gets a cut. Nothing personal. Just Bottle Street rule. Are they still trying? I was wondering if they, I was wondering if they were gonna like turn away. Okay, this might affect going through the Bottle Street later. Open. Would you look at this? You don't walk into Bottle Street looking like that. That outfit must have cost a lot. Maybe I'll let my girlfriend wear it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus. You're lighting yourself on fire, guys. Come on. <laughs> You're literally lighting yourself on fire. Sleepy time, boys. Here you go. Alright. Sleep arrows it is. Here you go. Found a mattress. There you go. Throw them on. Boys, boys, boys. You must be tired after a long night. Go for a nap, all of you together. Have a cute little cuddle puddle. There you go. Look at that. Actually, um, we'll leave you two and you can just, uh, you can chill on the chair. There you go. Perfect. So that's good for you. We got some nice free sleep darts anyway. Perfect. A Murray urn. Nice. That's probably Granny's husband and we just picked up the urn. A Murray war medal. Yep, we just picked up her husband's war medal and we just, uh, <laughs> we're just tossing that in for money. She's not going to miss it. We uh, we helped her out with the uh, with the gentleman callers. Naturally, we we'll close that door so we don't let in a draft in this place. Garbage. How was that, Granny? Did I do well? Oh my dear, I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys, my brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. Okay, nice. Um, while you do that, I, little are sad. I will go and find this rune. Blood from... Something that is blocked. Yes. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? This is cool. I love that, like, picking up runes can also lead to uh, actual, like, lore related information as well. That's really nice. Okay. I think that's all we can get from out here. Birthday gift. I'll wait until you've seen your present. I think the little birdies are sad today. Okay. I got a rune. I'm going to I'm going to pick it up from outside cuz this looks like a trap. <laughs> I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them, rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess 
found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard, or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. We're becoming one of her little birdie assassins, so someone else. You'll have to go or they won't come. So break into his flat on Clavering Boulevard. What's kind of interesting about that is I'm wondering, don't the Bottle Street gang receive elixirs and then they they sell it to people, but they were taught they were talking in the notes about how uh, it's getting harder and harder to to sell it because they distill it. But something that I'm wondering is are we poisoning their specific supply that they take themselves or their whole entire supply that they would also sell to other innocents that are around this area which is could be quite interesting to think about um we can get a shadow kill turning to ash when they die we can get an overall movement speed increase if we save up for that build up adrenaline and trigger brutal melee fatalities we can increase our health we can see in the dark and see living beings through walls and clear their fields of vision. Um, rapid forward movement for longer distance. Possession, but we have to get to level two to be able to get human targets. We can slow time, which could be very useful for avoiding being seen or just needing some sort of just a little bit more time. I might sit on this and get the agility. So side quests for us to do as well, which is cool. I want to do everything as much as possible. I want to learn about what's going on because this is really cool. I'm wondering if we can like blink. To me. No, I can't blink like up places like there. I don't think we have a map of the area available to us. So we can't really check everything and anything that we've done on the map. It's just up to our own exploration. So we've got to be, we've got to watch out for our objectives and then go towards any runes and bone charms that we can find too. Oh, nice. Sleep darts. It's very good. Dunwall Whiskey Distillery. Now, this might be one of the ways to get around the Wall of Light, I think. So we'll take more of a look around first. Yeah. And the inspection fee. We can't help it. Cross the line, and you'll have your clue wrong. Stay away. His father was one, one of the, the first to die, die of the play. Okay, so we're being asked to stay away. <coughs> Is they like harassing people? My father, My father had gold hair. My, My mother hair like, like ash. I gotta get in that building for a bone charm. Maybe I'll go around. Oh, we have a map. Guys, we have a map. It's not like in your menus, but you can actually access it here. Okay, that is good. So Dunwall Distillery, the Golden Cat, the Clavering Boulevard, and then Holga Square. Wonderful. So the Wall of Light is blocking our way forward. So it looks like if we go through the distillery, that'll take us out uh, behind the, the Wall of Light. I'm assuming the distillery is the... the um, what are they called? The Bottle Street Alleys, right? Because the Bottle Street Gang use the, um, the Bottle Street Gang uses the distillery. I really love the idea of the map being um, in the world for you to access and then paying attention to like street signs and stuff as well. I think my wife and I will be able to ride this thing out. The plague has to pass eventually. 
He steals from his business partner. A little every day. Damn. Only after a long day of work will he return to his home and family. Stealing. Okay, um... Play your way, pathways. Oh, okay. Disable it by removing the whale oil tank. Climb up the crates to the right. Use the roof. Find another path by following the streets to the right. And pos oh, possess a rat. And use the small tunnel to the left. Ah, oh, that's cool. Possessing a rat and going through to uh, with the possession ability. I love that there's like multiple ways to go through here, which is awesome. Something that I think uh, it's kind of unfortunate is the game going huh! and just showing it all to us. Um, I think the discovery of figuring out multiple ways to go about things is preferred. We found one pathway uh, already, but it was we were going to take a look around and see what else was available to us. Obviously, we can now see all of it, <laughs> but um, I'm not sure if that is... Like, we've got tutorials here. And the unfortunate thing is there are tutorials that are kind of, um, I guess, almost necessary for me as a new player for, like, showing what can be done. Um, I'm not sure... Uh, we've got the show the tutorial notifications and then the objective pop-ups. The problem is I kind of need some of the tutorials. It would be nice if there was maybe, like, uh, like a sub genre of tutorials like yeah I don't know I would have liked to have figured things out myself but it's cool that it's like here's a rat and the tunnel is right there pull out the whale oil tank or climb over the top um, I think that's amazing it's very cool to see all the, the differences Spring Razor trap can be attached to any surface by aiming at it and pressing LT. Oh, look at that artwork. Holy shit. It'll be triggered as an enemy approaches it, throwing up a cloud of shrapnel and um, absolutely tearing them apart. Wow. We're going to try and not use that. Uh, the rewire tool can disable security devices or make them work in your favor by using a rewire tool on the circuit panel for the security device you want to hack. Uh, rewired walls of light, arc pylons, and watchtowers will harm your enemies instead of you. While re rewired, rewired alarms will be fully disabled. Uh, I'd assume this would count towards your kill count. Sergeant Hayburn, what an interesting name, Hayburn. All the wall of light components have been delivered to your station. I expect it to be functional before midnight. You've already also been provided with several spare whale oil tanks should the need arise. Last, it's come to my attention that various watchmen continue the adolescent practice known as rat burning. Remember, whale oil is not cheap. Please keep your men under control, Captain Kurdo. I recognize the name. What did I just do? What did I just do? What did I just throw at him? Because I thought for some reason that I had the heart equipped and I was trying to hear his thoughts. What did I just do? Oh no. Oh, oh, I've separated him. Oh, I threw the, oh no. Oh, I've done, I've done horrible things. Where's the rest of him? Where did he go? I've totally disintegrated him. Um. All right, lesson learned. When you pick up a brand new item, you do straight up equip that. So um, that's what a spring razor does. Can I still hear the thoughts of your uh, body, sir? <laughs> oh no. Oh shit. That was very unfortunate. Um, okay, we don't have the power of possession, but I kind of want to acquire it, but we need another rune for that, so. The other route is over the other side. We're not doing possession today. Can I hear the thoughts of rats? If you can stay still. When the last of the is gone, darkness will fall. I think that's also talking about uh, whales. 
The Abbey is dark, its doors are locked, and no more the great sermons. The overseers have taken to the streets. So these are the pylons. I think I've taken out the main guard here so I can kind of wander around. Okay, so we can remove this and go through. We can rewire it. So it'll it won't mess with us. So many whale oil canisters. Alright, it looks like the way to get into this house with the bone charm is I do have to potentially go through these guys. So I was looking to see if there was an alternate path. Um, but I'm, I think we're just going to have to deal with these guys. The replayability is really exciting, actually. Yeah, here's Bottle Street. So this might be the Bottle Street gang. But it's very exciting seeing the amount of ways we can do things. I think we'll go through the distillery just so we can see more locations, because the other three options is just disabling the gate. Unless this is the way around and the distillery is its own thing. Hey. We might get into a bit of a tussle here. Let me out. Oh, okay, you've got someone in here. Okay. Anyone there? Ooh. Okay, at least I get to do stuff like this without the game telling me. This is cool. Like a way that I can potentially slip in here without having to go through the the main door. I'll get you out of there yet, sir. Hold on. Mother's Journal. Eighth entry. It's the fourth day of the month of rain. Morris is sick and so are the children. I've avoided it thus far, which is good fortune, since it has fallen on me to take care of them. The city watch comes and goes, knocking on doors and asking for signs of plague. Even our neighbors cannot be trusted. Earlier, it was difficult to keep the children quiet. Now they sleep most of the time. The flies have set in. I try to keep them away, but I can barely get close. They sting so. Most of the time, Morris won't answer me when I try to talk to him from across the room. Morris is gone. I don't know what I'll do. For now, all my hope is reserved for the children. Leaving the flat for a while near dawn, I found some plague bags from a guard booth while no one was around. It took a while, but I got Morris into one of the bags. At least his face is covered. Young Robert has passed. The star of my sky is gone. Elise stopped breathing in the middle of the night. She was such a headstrong girl. I can hardly believe she was overcome. She was always near as I cut up hagfish or vegetables, arguing with me about everything. It is the fourth day of the month of wind. It is settled in that they are lost to me, all of them. I cannot bring myself to call the dead counter. I have the fever now. No guards come near anymore. Fucking hell, dude. Like... This is absolutely awful. Like, that was gut-wrenching to read, actually. Fucking hell. <laughs> like... Ugh, the way that this game is doing its environmental storytelling is, um, is, yes, yeah, so tragic. Timeless children's rhymes. They say that Jimmy Whitcomb Riley was a brawler his mates called Smiley. He ran around, up and down town, pulling off every kind of crimey. On Bottle Street, he hung with the boys, throwing bricks and bottles and other toys. They'd start a fight, then run and hide, breaking, laughing, far and wide. Smiley liked to eat and drink all day and smash and bash the night away. Drunk and all alone, he drifted off a sleeping, sitting on a bridge along John Clavering. Clavering. Sleeping. Clavering. Yeah. When he woke, something strange he found, stranger than a singing wolf hound. He'd become a blue-jawed eggfish, most slimy, and only remembered his name was Smiley. They say that Jimmy Whitcomb Riley was never seen again for all of timey, but he swam around, up and down, drinking from the river, crying, why me? Gaffer's Tale Volume 1, which we have already read. Wow, it's, um, yeah, really need to, look at this, this is amazing. You really need to focus on how much you can look up and see the pathways available to you here. Um, obviously, mana notwithstanding, you are a little bit limited of um, 
how often you can travel, but, like, this stuff. Like, you can go into multiple houses here. And good loot from it, too, as a result. Oh, I can't carry anymore. Okay, 10 is the max. Gotcha. Nate, drop point has changed. Leave it in the shutter under the bridge. The shitter under the bridge. If the elixir ain't there, you don't get paid. Blood from the eyes. I saw Slackjaw with your mother. Yeah, I saw him with your father. <laughs> It looks like I might be able to get into this house potentially from somewhere else. I can also climb over here, it seems, on the pipes. All of the different ways to navigate, super exciting. Uh, we want to check out over here. Okay, so it seems as though this alleyway climbing up here is the way to totally get through or past the wall of light. So the distillery might even be a total bonus section for us to look at. I'm assuming that this game is going to have fall damage. Uh, but I've got enough elixirs to at least test that theory. So I'm going to see how much damage I can withstand without spending mana on blinking. Only a little bit. Okay. And I also have the double jump. I need to remember that too. So we can eat garbage to heal. So that's fine. Um, I hope that it's okay that I'm taking my time a little bit just to soak in and absorb my surroundings because there is a lot to take in. So um, I assume there might be some people tapping their feet and going, come on, man, just progress. But like, there's so much to explore and I want to take my time. So we can go to the whiskey distillery and this, I'm unsure. Actually, let me have a look. Our objectives is to Bottle Street Alleys. Blackmore Journal, Gentleman Callers, Break Into the Flat. Oh, actually, this is the... Hmm, hang on. Yeah, that's over that side. Let's check out this house, and then we'll go into the distillery. Obviously, I don't think we'll be able to explore everything possible, but we're trying as much as possible to do so. Um, I wonder if there's a way... Hmm. Anyone there? I don't want to get people to go and investigate. Look at these rats. I could grab a guy, but I think it might alert the other guy. You know? Actually, I can talk to the thugs. Don't make me take that away from you. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought they were going to attack me on sight. Cross the line, and you'll have your throat cut. Ooh, look. He's armed for fighting. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Bruh. This one cooks rats over a trash fire when he can't find anyone to draw. Can you hear them too? Crying out in the dark. A street thug. A knife for hire. Let me out. How will, you, how will they react to be blinking? <laughs> Looking at trash. So... Hey. We're over. We can go to the offices, but I'm wondering if we can get into this building by other means without having to eliminate the guys. It's just ridiculous. Stupid rats. Plague. Elixir. Crap. Did I tell you about the time I almost caught that guy and killed the Empress? I don't need shit from you. I don't think we can get in without going through um, the front door, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to try and help this guy by taking out these. Keep away or I'll slit your rigor for you. <coughs> Don't make me, me take that away from you. I've got 
got enough sleep darts to just put them to bed. But I want to see if I can, like, grab one. Anyone there? Picked up anything good? Blow off, chopper! <coughs> there you go. What the? Oh, never mind. <laughs> so, what I probably should have done is carried him away, and I would have been able to get away with that. Uh, but I just dropped him. Let me out! I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either, pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was, at one time. But now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then, it's scavenging for me. Nice, okay. So we've got Gaff sells scavenge items on a bloodock's way. Cool, so we've unlocked a vendor. Wanna look at some of the things I found? Good prices, I swear. I really love the art style. I think the way that it looks like everyone is sort of like painted with brush strokes is really nice. All right, let's see what he's got. Ooh, lens magnification. For increasing stability in a multi-lens array, Pierre can use this to upgrade the magnifying lens in your mask. And Sokolov's formula. Pierre can use this to distill a liquid that restores health and protects against the rat plague. Um, okay, and some sleep darts. Let's buy... I remember there being the lens magnification. Am I crazy? Um, let me take a look, because what do I have? My inventory. Mask optics upgrade one allows you to magnify your view. I already have one. Huh? Which is cool. So I won't get a blueprint for that because I'm not sure if I need that. Um, I wonder if the definitive edition has changed some things. Um, where, like, it's unlocked some things for me already. It kind of almost feels like that with the fact that I got, like, a shitload of money and could buy some upgrades, and maybe I just wasn't aware of that. Or whether the blueprints is for something else? Um, unsure, but... Yeah. I guess I won't need a spyglass upgrade unless it's for, like, even further of a zoom. But that guy's been rescued. We haven't had to kill anybody. This guy's now just chilling here. Griff's Curio Shop. <laughs> we can... Will this make the papers fall? Oh. I would love that level of interactivity. <laughs> you, like, take the things off and the paper falls to the ground. If this was a Valve game, you know that would have worked. Door to an art dealer's apartment cannot be opened at this time. Okay. This double jump is so useful. Saves us a lot of blinking time. <laughs> oh. My jump was foiled. Alright, we're gonna go through the distillery. Old Dunwall Distillery. We'll see what's in here, whether this is just something that we can check out. Entering a hostile zone. Hatters fired the first shot, but Bottle Street Gang fired the last. So this is the Bottle Street Gang, and I think this is the, the Bottle Street alleys to get around the Walls of Light, potentially. Even though Bottle Street is out there, but it might just be tied together. Hostile zone. He is paid in whiskey and sleeps on the floor of the distillery. I 
An explosive bottle, okay. What happens if I, I assume if I throw that bad boy it'll explode somewhere. Potentially could be a good distraction. With them weepers and wild hounds. That's what they say. Someone's messed with me. Yeah, okay, that's a distraction. Set him off a bit. Must have been something. Come on, that's spread out. What's this business? Anyone there? Nothing here. Nothing here. Well, I'm probably made a mistake to make put everyone on edge there, but I wonder how light our footsteps are when we drop. Oh, there's a drop assassination. Drop on an enemy from above and press right trigger just before laying on him to perform a drop ass assassination. No damage. A, a non-lethal version would be nice, but they can't have everything. Um, drop. That didn't blow up that time. I got a distillery master key. <laughs> Love that. There is a strong drink made here. I tried it once. Distilled from river crusts, but I tasted it. Nice. I got another distillery master key. The brothels spring up around the distilleries. They are inseparable. I'm really enjoying just how much there is for us to to take in of these areas that are like pretty pretty small areas it kind of feels like but there's just so much depth to them I suppose Yeah We need like a whistle ability I just like whistle for their attention. So we can get in there to get a bone charm. I'm just seeing if there's anything else around here as well. Yeah, there's something in there. Stealth in this is very satisfying. a black market except from a letter we've seen widespread looting since the month of clans it wasn't prevalent at first but it's a pattern now there's an outbreak in one of the districts and the watch moves in we we quarantine buildings put down weepers and deport anyone showing early signs afterward the dead counters come through and the lawyers write up the paperwork to transfer ownership of businesses and homes at parliament's discretion soon after like clockwork the gangs begin tearing the place apart there's a fairly robust black market now because everyone wants elixir and most can't afford it. Even Sokolov's brand won't help you if you've already got the plague. Getting a regular dose is your best chance if you want to avoid contracting it. Some of the gangs have taken to buying small amounts and watering it down before selling it. And I have to admit, if I didn't have an officer's ration, I'd be buying from them. Jared Corey, City Watch 3rd Regiment. I guess this is where we'd be going if we wanted to um, do what... Um, old granny wanted and to well obviously we want to go to the doctor's place but I'm like it feels like you'd also go here all right let's try and go back now these areas are really fun I I quite like the, the <laughs> I, I like the the playground of stealth here with like how how it's all put together very very enjoyable 
I hope this is as enjoyable to watch as it is to, uh, to play. Authorized employees only. Distillery District, excerpt from a pre-plague, plea plague promotional book on products made in Dunwall. Across the Empire, Old Dunwall Whiskey is not the f only the finest libation of its kind, but it's also an important cultural tradition among discerning folk, sophisticated and common alike. Captains moving their ships across the great ocean always have a bottle in their quarters for occasions. Buying restaurants and bars keep it in stock, and farmers across Crystal exchange Old Dunwall Whiskey with healthy children are born. Some might disagree, preferring highbrow drinks such as King Street Brandy or one of the other brands from Morley, but sales of Old Dunwall have been brisk through the early years of Empress Jessamine's Cold and Empress Jessamine Coldwin's reign, a trend that is expected to continue. Aged and bottled in Dunwall's distillery district, Old Dunwall whiskey is what you want. And a recipe for Craxton. Craxton, I'm coming tomorrow to check on a batch. Make sure you're wearing pants this time and stick to the recipe. One part soak loves elixir, one part beach gum paste, two parts sugar water. That's it. The more of the real shit you cut in, the less there is to spread around, and the less coin I make. This ain't a charity. Slack jaw. Is that what slack jaw sounds like? Probably not, but it's what he sounds like right now. He's having an interesting day, you know? He decided he would do his voice. Gate access. Make a lot of noise. Oh, okay. I see what you want me to do. Hopefully that there's a way to open it from the other side. Am I trapped in here now? I'm full of bullets. Do not. I picked up a grenade. Do not do that. I guess I can. Okay, I can get out. That's fine. A Morley apple. Love it. Got a pouch, got some coin. Anything else in here for you, love? I'm not sure. Let's get out of here. Some chains I can climb. Got a tripwire I can trigger, so that's nice. I almost walked directly into it because I was looking in front of, uh, ahead of me, not in front of me. Hmm, that dude is looking right at me. They don't have impressive line of sight. Like it feels like you got to be pretty close. Okay, I got one for you. Well, give it. Okay. The noblemen laid the skull in, so loudly they made quite a ride. The nobleman's wife took the butcher and knife, and carved herself some peace and quiet. <laughs> oh, I get it. The wife took Hey, that, right? that didn't do what I wanted it to do at all. <laughs> oh, let me think. I thought that would have maybe um, okay. distracted one of them. Dude was very confused about where he wanted to walk. Picked up anything good? Blow off, huh? 
That's so unfortunate. I was doing such a good job, I think. <laughs> Taking my time. Oh, fuck, man. Yeah, like, you get to a point where it's unfortunately just... Like, there's... <laughs> I, I wish that you could... I wish that you could get away. You can't get me up here! I'm on top of this door! I'm shutting you out! Damn. Oh. I give up. He got away? Are you sure about that? Alright, where was my save? I guess it was like... Alright, my save was... Here? Getting over. Alright. There was more stuff here that I missed, so the game was actually looking out for me, wasn't it? <laughs> it was more lockers, guys. And I only opened one of them. Okay. Um, lovely. Well, that's that. <laughs> we were close. You know, we're planning these, uh, planning these for the first time. It'll take a bit of time. I think maybe... Says he still hears it at night. He never I'll try and blink up on top of the pipes. The nobleman laid with the skull so loudly they made the game. The so that didn't work. And carved herself some peace and quiet. <laughs> oh, I get it. The wife done cut them both, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the gist. Now it's your turn. Oh, uh, let me think. Um. Okay, yeah, I got one. Ready? I'm listening. There once was a sailor from Morley, who fancied a woman no sooner. He gave her his cash, she gave him a rash, and that's all. There isn't no Morley. <laughs> ah, you win. You win. Uh, uh, well, I know a hundred of these old rhymes. My mummy used to tell them at me. My mummy? My mummy used to tell me these rhymes. I'm gonna put this guy to sleep here. <laughs> what? Picked up anything? Oh, what? What? They got suspicious for a sec. I want to see if I can. That. Oh my god. That was not supposed to happen. Oh my god. I'm like, I'm just like, all right, so we'll jump up, double jump, get up on the pipe, then I'll get the bone charm. And I just went right over. <laughs> Must have been rats. This time I think we'll just do the, the triple pipe move. <laughs> That's the That'll be the easiest way to do it. Okay. I got one. Well, oh, the bone charm is not even... I thought it was in, on this pipe the whole time. Oh, I've got to go in that room. Okay. Love that. That's hilarious. Okay. So we actually don't even want to be on this pipe. But we'll go through here. So I could have, could have climbed up that chain. Let me think. Uh, okay. 
Okay. It's up there. Oh god. You be stomping on rats. Put you down here. Okay, we're climbing up barrels, and I'll look behind this staircase as well. Oh, oh. <laughs> game didn't like that. All right, let's just blink up there. There you go. I have the bone charm for plague affinity. Okay. Oh, there's a lot to a lot to get. Some good potions. The rat plague. Except from a natural philosopher's notes. For over a year I've studied this cursed plague, collecting and dissecting rats by the thousands. Given their rapid gestation and matura uh, maturation cycle, it's been possible to breed them for numerous generations. The rodents themselves seem immune to the plague, but they pass it readily between members of their own species, perhaps through mites. The blood of the rats tells its own story, allowing me to gauge the number of generations that a given group of gra uh, rats have lived with the plague. As such, a nagging question remains. The rats collected in the poorest parts of town in the slums exhibit the oldest strains of the plague, while those found near the docks, where the foreign plague-bearing rats would presumably have entered the city, exhibit a younger strain of plague. <clears throat> Could this mean that the rats were transported to the slums in some way that is not obvious? I will continue my research. If nothing else, I am living proof that Sokolov's elixir and Pierre's remedy are very effective at protecting against the plague. If one consumes enough of the stuff. Okay. Was the rat plague a, uh, a planted and intentionally released um, you know thingy. That's the word. I was look, trying to look for a, the word but like for some reason it was just not coming to me. So we are going with thingy. Thingy is the word. Oh, there's the trap. I was like, where's the trap? I thought it was going to be at the start. Right. Got people there. This is back outside again, I think. So this is like a little dangerous place to be in. Dude's just staring. There's barrels on this side, so I'll wait for this guy to move. And then we should be able to get out. But I need to figure out how to get to this. Oh. Yep, figured it out by that distillery master key, obviously. Okay, empty elixir vial. Lab equipment. Okay, a bunch of stuff. Is this how it's made? Bootleg still instructions. Operating instructions. Attach an empty elixir vial to the spout before you turn the thing on. Turn the valve on. Collect the full vial. Repeat until empty. Do not break vials. Do not spill any elixir. No free swigs. So we could like make our own. But the dis dis distilled version. Elixir accounts, Tubbard family, four doses, Cramling family, three, Braden family, five, Golden Cat, two crates, Biddley Farms House, one crate, Ednak, one dose, Luther, one, Black Sally, two crates, Griff, past you, Trace Flannery, two, Pratchett family, five, Nelly and Morris Sullivan, two. Okay. 
the elixir vial. It's the valve. Cool. So you can have a freebie. Obviously, I don't need it. So I've just done some work for them. There you go. They can enjoy that one. That's on the house. Bit of free labor for you, mate. Bit of free labor. All right. Now what we're going to do is we are going to get out of here. So yeah, it was an area to check out some stuff. Right, he's over that side. Right, in and out, baby. In and out. Are you sure I read that? Yeah. All right. Nice. I think that's uh, this distillery district done and dusted. We got some bones um, and we've got some lore and learned some harsh lessons about stealth in here. Okay, nice. And now we can proceed to get the hell out of here. We've got rainfall. Let me see what's going on over here. What are they doing? Nobody heard that. I'll get better at actually aiming myself onto these pipes, huh? Oops. Who smashed that bottle? It wasn't me, mate. There would clearly be an additional level of difficulty, which is putting yourself in harm's way to uh, pickpocket everybody, too. That's a lot. That's a lot of work. We are out of here, baby. Nice. Go to the Bottle Street. And now we can make our way through to Dr. Galvani's offices. Oh yeah, I forgot to get this bone charm, didn't I? Uh, from rescuing this guy. Let's head upstairs. That's how we can get upstairs, the dead body. Uh, rat scent and bone charms. Excerpt from a book on sailing traditions and scrimshaw. Bone charms and sailor's blessing, they say. The carving itself is a practice from long back. Passed from father to son. Old man salt, green horn, still getting his sea legs behind, beneath him. In the old times, men cut in the tusks of ice seals and into the arm-long fangs of bears that roamed the isles north of Tivia. Once the whale trade began, the practitioners went to engraving the bones of those great beasts, rendering charms that sing in the night and grant some small boon to a man's vigor or defense against pregnancy. The Contraceptive Bones, a geological survey of West Pandician Basin. This is cool to see the Pandician continent. We've got Gristol, Tivia, Morley, and uh, Sekonos. Cool! Love seeing the world that's been built. Getting a proper look at it because I picked up the other map a bit too fast. It looks like this could have been an, an alternate way in, but it is definitely sealed. Or blocked, I should say. Now we can go this way. All right, time to cross the street. So let's do it the right way, the stealthy way. This is how you cross a street. Whispers that I get 
Stupid god. Alright, we can go in through the top. In we go. Choices have consequences. Using stealth and non-lethal will lead to a less dark city. Dr. Galvani's office. Here we go. Rat viscera. Search for a sample of infected rat viscera. Uh, we need a combination. I Obviously, we're not meant to be in here, so... Um, if there's anyone in here, we should probably be careful. Okay, we've got people downstairs. And a rat up there. Okay, so this second level is clear. The bottom floor is where everybody is. I love that we can check that with, uh, with dark vision. Gives us a good little bit of insight. Is one of the one of them might be the doctor, but it looks like they're three guards. In case of emergency, break glass, which is going to alert people. I've got seven, so I won't take that risk. Wait, did you touch the door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah, I think so. Then you have to scrub. The rats get their vital essences everywhere, the doctor said. Vital essences? Does that mean guts? I think so. So your hands need scrubbing. You're unclean. Unclean? That's nonsense. Can't we just- No, I told you. With rubbing alcohol or white vinegar. All right, all right. What is he doing there all day? Ambrose says he breeds rats that carry the plague. Your friends are ignorant. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, it's him. The royal physician is going to save us. Ayer's new elixir is twice as good against the plague. I don't understand how Galvani can admire Sokolov. Royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious philanderer who spends more time with prostitutes than he does in the laboratory. Is this what it's going to be like when we're married? It is, isn't it? I hope not. I'm telling you now, I don't Ooh. have the endurance for it. Okay. These guys were not detected on my... This whole Dark place on is my gone side. They're, okay, they're leaving. Well, I do now. Oh, is she immediately turning around? She is definitely immediately turning around. I'd like your rational laser for today. Blow off. What? Yeah. Immediately is like coming straight back for the door. It was nothing after all. Yeah, it's probably just rats. This whole place has gone to the hounds. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. Order business. Have a nap. All right, I've got a key. Or you can be seen from that staircase, so be careful. He speaks to himself. Dr. Galvani's journal. I've been invited to a soiree at the Boyle Estate. Of course, I won't attend. The 28th day of the seventh month, the month of high cold, is the day I met Anton Sokolov at the Academy. Why would I tarnish the anniversary of the most important day of my life by licking ar aristocratic boots? I have no time for fools. I will be solving the riddle of this plague. Perhaps I'll raise a cup of Tivian Red.
Travel to Pandisia, except from a travel chronicle by Anton Sokolov. The men I set out with are good sailors. No doubt half of them have cut their teeth on the rascally pirate ship spawned in the Cer Serconan Archipelago. Or well, they were, I should say. Half of them died before we sighted the broken red cliffs welcoming those who would visit the far continent, as it is called. Sickness, infighting, poisoned by a school, or one would say a flock of small fish that fly over the waves like birds, landing in the hundreds across the deck, pricking any they touched with toxic quills. Thro two thrown overboard by gusting demon winds, the quiet Tivian navigator simply dead in his bunk, wrapped in his white furs, eyes wide with terror. Few have crossed the ocean and the distance to Pandisia is greater than most would imagine. Four, four more, uh, uh, more died off the cliffs. And uh, now, with but a handful of eyes stand looking across the greatest expanse of land that exists, my allies are frightened, but this is beyond them, and now their captain is dead too, stung by something that resembled a prairie mole but reacted with great apo apoplectic outrage when handled, so it falls on me to lead them. Good on you, Sokolov. Rats. Rates. And then this just curves around to where I was looking before. So this is a way that you could like sort of circumvent. Oh, I could control rats and go in here. So like whenever you see like the broken vents, that's when you can do that. Uh, again, we don't possess that ability yet. So we are not able to do that. No runes and no bones in this place. Listen, I can hear every thought. I am not alive, nor have I ever received the gift of death. Oh, we're getting lore on the heart itself now. I can feel the great age ending. The ever burning ways. Oh, okay, there we go. So way up. That was a that was a panic. I thought I was pretty well tucked in the dark here, but I'm not sure how the game works in terms of um, I'm not sure how the game works in terms of like detecting in the light. Also, holding X to unequip your stuff so you don't seem like a threat to other people is probably a good idea. <laughs> Just realized I could do that. So this is what a rat could do. And I guess a rat could like distract them. I don't know if you'd be able to like bite them with a rat and then be like, oh no, I'm infected with the plague. Or a rat could come through here. We've got the key. So we're able to get into this room this way. The doctor himself is in here. I think that there were like that maid and that guard didn't come up with the in the dark vision. Galvani Academy notice. The latest case should arrive within a week containing all the components you need. Be careful with the white phosphorus. Can't have you getting fossy jaw like the tanners at the edge of the city, poor bastards. Sorry you have to practice in secret. The vivisectionist should be celebrated, revered even. Cutting up rats should be done in the town square with a crowd of eager students taking notes, not in some dirty little secret room behind a wall of books. Anyway, lucky for you to have an old friend who never left the academy. Let me know what else you need, but remember, it might be a month before I can put together another shipment. Yours in knowledge, Artemis Moore, procurement clerk and provisioner, Academy of Natural Philosophy in the South Wing. Next time you're nearby, I come in for an afternoon. We stayed fairly insulated from the plague, since so few come and go here, and we've got quite the stock of Tivian brandy. And 
That is a big ass bottle. Uh, a bull rat fetus. Love that. Oh, uh, secret bookshelf. Uh, I'll, yeah, you can see that. That's great. So it'll be the, on the globe. All right, hold on. Before we do that. Rat behavior and extermination, except from a series of interviews with street workers by rat catcher Lena. Used to be you'd go out with a bag, stick with a nail on the end and catch as many rats as you could in a night. The city watch paid by weight. My husband Benjamin and I mostly worked alone. We got by. If we found a place where the rats were real bad, sometimes we'd hire a crew of street rats to work with us. The younger ones who didn't make trouble. We'd pay them with bread and apple cider. Once the plague came, the rats were different. Meaner, bigger, and a little quicker. You had to watch yourself. If you got cornered, they'd turn and the swarm would come back at you. I barely got away with the skin a few times down in the sewers. The bites hurt afterward, but it was the sounds they made that stayed in your dreams at night. It got more dangerous and the city watch started paying better. But that didn't last long because after a while too many people had been stripped clean, trying to fill up a bag. One slip and they'd be all over you, gnawing and trying to chew down to the bone. That's how I lost my poor Benji. Damn. Obviously the plague rat is distinct from the ordinary rat, but in what respect? Its size and the coarseness of its fur, and I believe in intelligence, although the experiments there are not complete. Coriander Zoological Survey describes only the ordinary rat, which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual migration. Could they have been introduced on purpose? Perhaps by a foreign power. Perhaps by a foreign power. Okay, interesting. Um, yes, we've read the rat plague already. I was like looking at that being like, I think we've read that one. The lavatory. The Leviathan's sorrow. Now, there was a whisper in the heart about the Leviathan. Except from a report on a treatise banned by the Rudshaw Trade Council. Little is known of Picotti. Credited with this series of pamphlets arguing against the whaling trade, while he is gifted, his views are nonsense and threaten the economic underpinnings of the empire. Enslavement. On the breeding and husbanding of whales versus hunting the beasts in the wild after a natural and free life cycle, Picotti offers no solutions for where these massive malevolent creatures might be pastured. Dissolution. Laments on the destruction of social bonds between herd members, Picotti actually uses the term families. Harmony. Drivel on the aesthetic wonder of what is, in reality, the great and terrible ocean that ever threatens to swallow us. Includes arguments on the gentle nature of the brutes, a notion refuted by seamen who return to shore, wide-eyed with tales of the whale's savagery. Disruption. Here, Procotti is on his weakest footing, issuing up feverish warnings against the displacement or transference of natural beasts from their native environments. This is sad. It's like people that are like, hey man, don't do this. This is... The dangers of whaling. And they're like, ah, oh, pish posh. They are beasts, and the ocean is a cruel depth of which we will not partake. We just have to do this a few times until it works. Oh, it's the fake book routine. It's the classic fake book routine. Okay. Ew! Dr. Galvedi's secret room! Okay. Get as much stuff as we can before we look at the objective. Sewer capacity in the month of nets. Accepted interview attached to a formal report. Big City Works Crew 17A. I've been asked to tell you the problem, so here it is. It's been every night. I spend every year that we work like men gone mad during the month of nets. I don't hardly see my family. It's bad enough that the works is clogged with trash from the catch, pieces of crates and nets, but the water smells of hagfish guts too. We got we got to get it done before the month of rain, or you know what? And it ain't like we get help from those pricks in several engineering either. Been at this job for nigh on 28 years, I never seen one of them come below, except to measure will it hold on they go putting up one of their fancy new bridges. So these last three years been the worst, and here's why. It's the river crusts, moves into the works. We hear a man ahead yell and scream like he's burning up. We all climb up fast, no other choice. Give it to me. 
Yummy. I hope I got a bag for that. You just like shove it in your pocket. Like a bag of spaghetti. Without the bag. You know, hold the bag. There we go. Gotta, gotta seal this back up. So no one knows that I was here. Except for all the other doors that I've uh, used. Alright, I'll be, uh, I'll be on my way then, lads. Got me fucking rat guts. And I'll be out. Now. I don't know if there's anything useful down here. But we do know that there are guards. It could be worth taking a look. There might be some stuff. Might be some stuff. I might save my game before we take a, have a look. Good idea to do dark vision here. One, two, three. Potentially more. Oh! Hello. Well. Oh. A feeding log. Okay. Fourth day, assorted human remains, strong appetite. Tenth day, one bag, Tivian pears, rats uninterested. Eleventh day, one tin, potted whale meat, eaten. Thirteenth day, human torso, no trouble finding corpse parts. Seventeenth day, no feeding, aggression increased. Incident of cannibalism. Twentieth day, incident with previous maid servant. Will withhold feeding until first day. Month of darkness. Okay, so... Yep, they, they do be eating meat. Oh, this is gonna be... Oh... God damn it. You know what? Oh, oh. Okay, so um, this really didn't have the effect that I thought it would have. There we go. So the effect that I thought it would have was I would open the door and um, out they would run and attack. And um, of course they eventually did, but it just didn't happen so instantaneously. So I was like, okay, that doesn't work. And then because I was the closest target. Okay. <laughs> oh, all right, hang on. This has, this has potential because we can set the rats loose on these guys and then um, see what happens. That is That is very funny though. I will close that door and I will close this door and this one doesn't look like it has a door but I wish for the rats to attack them and not me hopefully the rats will get to work now hmm see the rats aren't really doing anything this is my concern is I've opened the door Rats do not care. Uh, but if I'm there, they do care. Someone help me out. Oh, never mind. The rats have the rats have been unleashed. The worms. You gotta bleed. Okay, it finally worked. Just die. Okay, the rats are just standing there. Mm. I want to see if I can get this door closed. Okay, we'll just leave them in there. 
I don't know what's going to happen there, so we'll just let it go. But they're all standing there with the rats, and the rats have them in some sort of uh, stalemate, it seems. Oh, I hear a help. <laughs> the third stricture. Restrict the restless hands, which quickly becomes the workmates of the outsider. Unfettered by honest labor, they rush to sordid gain, vain pursuits, and deeds of violence. Of what value are the hands that steal and kill and destroy? Instead, put your hands to the plow, the fork, and the spade, for even the lowliest labor that is rigorous squeezes the muscles as a sponge, rinsing impurities from the mind and body. Avoiding the Red Plague. Much of the public still harbors false beliefs related to the plague. It is not true that the bile from river crusts will protect against contraction of the disease. Nor is it true that crushed morley orchids act as a remedy, though it is speculated that both of these ingredients are used in both Circle of Elixir and Piero's remedy. Consumption of these products before exposure to the plague constitutes the only known means of resisting the disease. Further, the Abbey of the Everyman warns against superstitious practices. Not only is it ineffective to burn two agfish and a cat together, inhaling the vapors while chanting the names of the plague dead, but it is also considered heresy by the overseers It will be met with a full measure of the Abbey's laws. Tell your neighbor and practice uh, these things yourself. Avoid contact with the infected. Consume your ration of elixir daily, preferably in the morning, and report anyone suspected of carrying the plague. Everyone must work together to stop the spread of the dreaded contagion. Yeah, contagion was the word that I was looking for earlier. Wanted, slack jaw, reward of 2,000 coins for capture or death. The offense of this man are high crimes under the strictures of the high overseer. The municipal laws of the city watch done well in the edicts of our brave Lord Regent in this time of peril. Okay, I believe, with that in mind, um, we have successfully explored the lower section, picked up some books, um, and um, the rats and the guards are locked in some sort of stalemate, um, and we're just gonna we're just gonna let them stay there, and uh, we'll get out of here. <laughs> oh. Wait. I gotta contaminate the Bottle Street Gang's bootleg elixir with plague. There it is. I have to go back to the fucking whiskey distillery that we went and explored. Um, yeah, like I said, right? Looking at this, I was thinking that this might not be a good idea because I'm trying to think of the ramifications, right? Because this plague elixir gets made and shipped out to people um so i i don't think we should do this because yeah the, the go, actually going to the distillery and doing it i'm like because mm. i was like wondering if we would give the the rat viscera to um what's her face but i was like mm. so if, if granny wants to do it she can but i don't think i should do it With that one, guys, we'll be bringing this episode of Dishonored to a close. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will be splitting up this mission into another episode because it's just so substantial. There's so much going on, so much to take in and to explore. So uh, the recording was just very, very long. So we're splitting it up into two episodes. Uh, so I appreciate your time here today. Thank you so much for joining me for episode three of Dishonored. And I will be seeing you next time for episode four.